Senator Ted Cruz, how are you? Mark, I'm doing terrific. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Two big subjects, Ted. First of all, I'm watching here as last night in Chicago, thousands of people ambushed hundreds of police officers, 49 police officers injured. I'm watching what's taking place in Portland where the mayor is basically lying down in front of the mob, which is attacking a federal courthouse. Uh, I see what's happening in Seattle and New York and these other cities, and then I see Nancy Pelosi calling federal law enforcement stormtroopers, Clyburn calling them Gestapo. I don't hear Biden once, once condemning what's taking place here. The Democrat Party is throwing in with these people, isn't it? They absolutely are, and it is disgusting to see it play out. We're seeing violence, we're seeing lawlessness, and, and we're seeing police officers just viciously targeted, targeted by the mob, but then targeted by the politician hacks uh, who have decided to throw in with the mob. You know, Nancy Pelosi referred to federal police officers as stormtroopers. She claimed that stormtroopers were kidnapping, and those were her words, innocent protesters. That is an absolute and total lie. Cops are not stormtroopers. That's a term used for Nazis. Nancy Pelosi knows that. She's deliberately trying to inflame racial tensions with lies. Arrests are not kidnapping. They're lawful arrests. And violent Antifa protesters who are assaulting people, who are firebombing police cars, who are murdering police officers, they're not simple, peaceful protesters. This has got to stop. And, 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 and right now the Democratic Party is, is encouraging it, and Joe Biden is hiding in his basement. He's terrified to open his word about it. Joe, you want to be a man? Man up and say you stand with the men and women of law enforcement. Say you stand with the NYPD and the LIPD, LAPD and the Chicago Police Department and the Portland Police Department and all of those officers, many of whom are African American and Hispanic, and they're being physically assaulted by many spoiled, rich, white kids who are having leftist temper tantrums that are violent and dangerous. And you know, Ted Cruz, we've talked about on this program the use of the Insurrection Act passed in 1807. It's been used many, many times, quite frankly, in circumstances a lot less violent and ubiquitous than this. Yep. And a federal law enforcement and backed up by, by the National Guard and so forth... I honestly think that's the only way this is eventually going to be put down. I don't, I don't see these, these left-wing mayors, most of whom are white, by the way, that are allowing this to happen to their cities and allowing these police officers to be brutalized. Is the president supposed to just sit back and say, I don't have authority, when he does? Well, you are right, and, and, and what I see as the strongest analog is, is actually from a different era in time, and it's the civil rights battle. When you had Southern Democrats, the Dixiecrats, who refused to obey civil rights laws, and they were engaged in deliberate defiance of the law because they supported the violent Klansmen, and they were supporting violent terrorists against innocent citizens. And, you know, Eisenhower sent in the military to to enforce federal law and protect people's rights. And what the Democrats are doing here is exactly what the Democrats did 60 years ago when they stood with the Klan, another set of racist terrorists, that were victimizing innocent citizens. You know, this week, Mark, I'm introducing in the Senate legislation that allows anyone whose property is damaged or who is personally victimized by violence of a terrorist or rioter to have a federal cause of action and seek treble damages, triple damages, against any state and local officer who deliberately withholds law enforcement, who allows a lawless autonomous zone to be created, as we're seeing across the country, who defies the law and decides your civil rights, your right to life and liberty are going to be sacrificed on the altar of politically correct wokeness. What we're seeing is lawless, it's dangerous, and it's tearing at the very foundations of America. Let's talk about Texas. As Texas goes, so goes the country. And if Texas goes Democrat, we lose the country. And you uh, you put out a... Uh, a verbal siren to Republicans in your state the other day. Tell us what's going on. Well, this is a real race, and it is serious. Texas is a battleground state. And, 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 and if we lose Texas, it's all over. Nobody's waiting up on election night to see what happens in Ohio or Florida. 
New York and California, sadly, are, are, are bright blue for the foreseeable future. And if Texas joins them, the math doesn't work. You're looking at a Democratic majority for a long, long time. And Texas right now, the last five polls in a row have shown Trump and Biden within a single point or two. The last poll that came out had Biden up five. Now, I don't think Biden's going to win Texas, but I think it is much, much closer than many of the complacent Republicans in D.C. and nationally believe it is. And, and, and the reason for that, Mark, there, there are two broad demographic trends going on in our country. One demographic trend is, is that blue-collar worker, union workers, are moving right. That is moving Midwestern states, more Republican states like Ohio and Pennsylvania and Michigan and Wisconsin, all of which voted for Donald Trump in 2016. It's the blue-collar workers, the workers that the Democratic Party has abandoned that are moving right. The countervailing political trend is suburban voters, and in particular suburban women, have been moving left. And, and that means that states with big suburban populations, states like Georgia, states like Arizona, and states like Texas, they're all becoming purple. That's dangerous, and we need to take it very seriously. And what do we do about it? I mean, honestly, Ted Cruz, what can I mean? We have to convince people. You only have thirty seconds, but you look at the TV screen. I mean, those are Democrats. Doesn't that scare the hell out of you to vote the right way? Apparently not. Well, it should, but the media is lying to them. We've got to convince them. Number one, the stakes, and the stakes are fighting for America, for freedom, for safety, for safety, or for your family, for the Constitution and Bill of Rights. We've got to explain why it matters: free enterprise versus socialism. And two, the media are trying to scare them and convince them that the alternative is a bunch of crazy right-wing violent racists. Now, the irony is the people committing the violence are Antifa. It's the Marxist organization Black Lives Matter. That's where the threat of violence is. But we've got to cut through the lies of the media and actually explain it to the voters. All right, Ted Cruz, you're right on. We appreciate it. Take care and be safe, sir. God bless. You too.